Hi everyone and welcome for this uh, brand new test. This time on the Aka Interactive, I'm going to try to use 10 different colors from Aka just because I have a really, very good feedback and I try it um, already on some of my Twitch live and mm, that smell pretty good. Um, so, oops, sorry. So. Uh, now we are going to try that on uh, some orc because it's October and I'm going to use all the 10 different uh, bottles I already paid uh, just to try to see. By the way, for me, for the studio, I want probably to change all my uh, classical paint by this one if that's match with my way to paint. Just because I have... Um, uh, I have Games Workshop, I have Prince August, I am Valero and Army Painter, classical paint. And I will try to remove all of that and using only this range. I will try, that's not really sure. And I will always use some speed paint and the airbrush color from um, Army Painter, by the way. But uh, for the classical one, I will try to use this one. By the way, that's not a perfectly sure information, but I think it's the same company that's due Valero Color. It's a very, very old company. And I mean, they are mm, very, very good experience in this domain. So, I mean, that smell pretty good. So, uh, stay with me and I will give you my conclusion at the end. And by the way, you can always like, follow and post a comment to help me to uh, reach uh, more people with my small tutorial and you can always support me on Patreon to give me uh, financial support to uh, help me to continue to make this kind of uh, tutorial. Thanks again and let's go for the paint! I'm going to check the consistency of the paint. It seems to be pretty easy to deal you and as you can see on my palette it seemed to see pretty easy to apply. So I can see that the paint is pretty covering. That's why I primed all the miniatures in black, just to see how, um, how much uh, the paint is covering. That can be uh, pretty useful to know that before you start painting. Um, it's not necessarily uh, a good idea to, to prime in black when you want to paint. But in that case, that's just perfect to see how covering is the color. And it, to be honest, it's pretty covering. I can play easily with the pigment into the paint to push my color in the direction I need. So for me, that's a pretty good success. Let's go for mixing some hull red to my basic green just to see how the paint reacts to some mix. And that seems pretty good.
So when I use um, Earl Red uh, solo, so only Earl Red, I see that the medium is not necessarily um, good mix with the pigment. So perhaps I can shake more the bottle before I apply, but that's always good to know. You can always add some mixing balls to your paint, uh, so that will be pretty helpful to have something perfectly uh, mixed. So I come back with my intermediate uh, green just to push again my highlight on every uh, part of my light on the green skin. I'm going to apply some layer of green and more my green is going to be very uh, powerful and that's totally um, normal because I'm going to um, pushing some very light layer and step by step having a better and better intensity in my color with nice transition. That's my way to paint. So now I'm going to apply some fog green and you can see the medium is really, really present into the paint. So I need to remove a little bit to continue. As you can see, that worked pretty well in the way I paint, so I can push my color in the direction I want, and um, and the paint is pretty easy to control. If, even if I, I dilute a lot my paint, uh, I see that the intensity of this one is pretty good. Um, even if the first color I apply, the intermediate green, was not so 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 contrasted, uh, so powerful, uh, this one is, and that's perfect to create a uh, distinction between the shadow and the light can always come back with a some few white to uh, desaturate our color to have something more more natural but I love orcs uh, with very very strong uh, green in the light So let's try some blue red um, because I, I, I'm thinking about uh, using a wine red first but it seems that I can push the color and create my transition very easily with this range so I will try to make like that. And yes, as you can see I can easily push my color in one direction and create my transition in that way by focus only on one direction every time and after pushing my color to that direction.
so now i'm going to apply some very liquid color very dilute color just to see how the paint is going to react exactly but it seems pretty good because it's colorful and easy to apply so for me it's a, a big win again and we can go on different scare and surfaces I try to apply directly my blood red on the black surfaces and as you can see it's pretty covering once again it worked pretty well With my orange medium, I'm going to try to just reach some line of highlight, no more. And remember to remove at the beginning the medium of the paint because there are a lot inside. And check energetically your, your body. I just had some few white into my orange to put my last point of highlights. At the beginning I want to do a really more quick test but to be honest it's really really good and easy to apply so it's more long than expected but it's a good thing. So I'm just going to create a pink uh, with my red and my white just to have some few points of highlight into my face. So I'm going now to try to try some blue colors um, just on some few uh, small parts.
Once again, the color is pretty covering and easy to apply. I just give you a little bit, as you can see, to be sure I can push my color in the direction I want. The second layer is going to give me a more clear blue, more strong. I come now with the aquatic turquoise. Time I dilute just a few so the paint will be the more covering I can and I can come on every edges to boost my highlight. And now with a very diluted color I just have on my brush right now I push my color to create my transition. I just finished with some pastel green. I can take a pastel blue, but I don't have this color. So I will try just like that. And that's worked pretty well. Mm, I'm pretty happy uh, with every color for the moment I use. And to be honest, mm, it can very easily change all my bottle of classical paint with this one. Continue with some leather brown with a pretty classical brown. And once again, even if the color is pretty clear uh, in comparison of my black, uh, it seems to be pretty covering. So it's always interesting to paint some uh, basic or paint like that just because you can see uh, me using it pretty quickly but that gives you some clear um, some some of my sensation of paint uh, and, and that's for me pretty interesting when you when you are thinking about changing some of your range of paint so I don't uh, take uh, the black uh, from AK, uh, but I have some black from Army Painter, so I will try to see if they're mixing in the best way. Uh, not necessarily something I really want to try, but I don't have black from AK, so that's the best way to try.
So I just apply some white just to pushing a little bit more contrasts for my non-metallic metal. And after that, we will go and start the conclusion and give me my last feedback. So here is the results, uh, I paint something like one or two hours on these miniatures. It's really easy to apply, easy to play with the paint, uh, to control your paint with your brush. For me, it's a really, really good feedback I have on these miniatures and on this paint. Um, I really hope you enjoy this and let's go for the conclusion. So the result is just amazing. I really love this paint. For me, it's totally. I totally agree with everything. Uh, it's pretty covering. I can play with my paints uh, like I love to do. And uh, to be honest, uh, I I manage a lot of different kind of color. And uh, the Vallejo Prince Auguste is pretty good, but uh, depending on the color, sometimes the reaction of paint is different. Uh, for the Games Workshop, the big problem is the bottle, because it's always complicated to use it, and you always need to dilute a lot uh, when you use it. Uh, and the Army Painter sometimes is not enough covering, uh, in my opinion. So, I'm going to same by time change my bottle of paint with this one probably and i will give you uh, my uh, feedback uh, you can always come on twitch and see how my paint is going to evolve by the way i'm going to keep always my army painter hair for everything with my airbrush my speed paint from army painter for everything we are going to use some contrast kind of paint some few contrast from games workshop because of some uh, color is pretty interesting and that will be all so i really hope you enjoy this kind of tutorial don't hesitate by the way to subscribe follow like and if you want to support me on patreon that's always welcome to help me to continue to make your uh, paint better thanks again for watching and see you soon for the next tutorial bye bye